Coming up on The Rants Show. Or will she begin again? Or is she going to wait till a cold December to deal with Donald Trump's AI Photoshop fraud? Is she better than revenge? Is she looking for a better man than Trump? Probably a woman this year. Call it what you want, but Trump broke the law. It's time for a change. By the way, I'm winging this right now by just scrolling a list of names. You're crushing it, dude. Trump said, don't blame me. He's just down bad. Just had a little bit of electric touch with AI. But Taylor says, Taylor says, end game. Everything has changed. And that she's fearless. And not 15 anymore or in Florida. The show that the world needs right now. So what you're saying is, is you haven't laughed in a very long time. Friends, my relatives, Republicans, that this is just awkward. They're awkward. This is the Vince show. Will Taylor Swift shake it off? Or will she begin again? Or is she going to wait till a cold December to deal with Donald Trump's AI Photoshop fraud? Is she better than revenge? Is she looking for a better man than Trump? Probably a woman this year. Call it what you want, but Trump broke the law. It's time for a change. By the way, I'm winging this right now by just scrolling a list of names. You're crushing it, dude. Trump said, don't blame me. He's just down bad. Just had a little bit of electric touch with AI. But Taylor Taylor says, end game. Everything has changed. And that she's fearless and not 15 anymore or in Florida. I'm just going to let you keep going. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I got the list. I, I got I got the list now, so I can just uh, I could go all night. Former President Donald Trump shared AI generated images of women wearing Swifties for Trump T-shirts to his true social account on Sunday before he abandoned it for X on Monday, including a satirical post that claimed Taylor Swift's fans were turning to Trump after security concerns forced the cancellation of her Vienna concert earlier this month. Trump captioned the post, I accept, and shared screenshots of four X posts that show women wearing Swifties for Trump t-shirts, as well as fabricated image of Taylor Swift dressed up like Uncle Sam that reads, Taylor Swift wants you to vote for Donald Trump. She does not. Don't do it. Don't do it, Swifties. (laughs) Swift has not endorsed a presidential candidate in this election, but did endorse the legitimate winner of the 2020 election, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris in the race. Swift has previously been critical of Trump, including for his comments during the Black Lives Matter protest in the summer of 2020. One of the ex-posts Trump included, which showed several women wearing Swifties for Trump t-shirts in various colors, had a satire label on it. The creator of the post said it was clearly labeled as satire and that they believe the Republican candidate got the joke. I don't think he did. Trump's post also contained two real photos of a Trump supporter named Jenna wearing a Swifties for Trump t-shirt. She's a baddie. The photos were taken at a Trump rally in Racine, Wisconsin. Nate, get me her number next time there's a rally. And she posted (laughs) it to X by Wisconsin right now. The images were shared online in the days before Trump reposted the image. Why would Trump, John Clark, why would you do something this stupid? I don't know, man. He so there is there is a few legitimate Swifties for Trump, and apparently this Jenna yeah, girl one says of them's, that the response one of them's has been bad. huge. <laughs> so the response has been huge uh, to her, anyway. Now, what 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 she deems is huge is probably a few hundred people because she's young. But I, I honestly, I don't know because anybody with half a brain knows Taylor Swift is not endorsing Donald Trump. He Anybody wants that, that endorsement bad. Uh, he he really, really does. But she's not. She's not but going I heard, to. I heard they have bad blood. 
<laughs> Nailed it! Ba boom! <laughs> <laughs> but here's the crazy part, though. So he wants uh, the reason that he wants this endorsement, the reason he would do this is because Newsweek did a poll back in May that found that 22% of Biden's 2020 voters would be more likely to vote for a Republican if Swift endorsed them. 22% of the yeah. people yeah. that voted for Biden in 2020 would, would vote for a Republican if, if T-Swizzle said to do it. So that's probably yeah. why I did it. But when you ask her about Trump, she knows that he was trouble when he walked in. <laughs> Now, I will say this, you know, <laughs> I will say this, I will say this, um, I think, I think, I like, I don't think RFK endorsing you matters. I don't think John Legend endorsing Harris matters. I definitely don't think Kid Rock matters. Swifty endorsing you? Game changer. If Taylor 100%. Swift endorsed this show. Uh, I'm doing it from the yacht the following week. I'm doing the ranch show from my yacht. <laughs> yes. I, I will also post an I accept to, yes. to yes. X or everywhere else. Uh, please, please, let me speak, Taylor, to, let me speak to Taylor Swift directly right now. <laughs> Tay Tay, if you endorse us, we'll can Nate, we'll can MAGA Miller right now. <laughs> what? Wait a second okay. here. I know how you feel about MAGA people. I agree. John would agree for the right price as well. It's not that much. I think he knows what he needs to do. Tay Tay, call me. But I do want to let the Swifties know, don't look in people's windows. That's a deep cut from her new album, by the way. Oh. But I wish you would, though, Tay Tay. We could have illicit affairs. Nah, innocent. Is that, is that a deep cut? These are all deep cuts at this point. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you know, song number 17 of the new album, you know? You're, you're scraping like the early eras tour music. Yep. I mean, dude, like, I don't know. If Taylor Swift endorsed. Harris, which she's going to, she's going to before sure. the election. She'll probably do sure. a, she'll probably do a rally, and it'll be a hundred thousand people, and then Trump's going to plunge off of a balcony. Um, because he's going to be like, "What about my rallies?" But, and then of course Taylor Swift can sing the hit song from a deep track called "It's Time to Go" and dedicate it to Trump. And then when MAGA's complaining. That Harris stole the election in 2024. We'll bring Tay Tay back out and she can sing the song. Is it over now? <laughs> and then just remember, Trump, there's a thing called karma. And a remix version of it. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> I can go, dude. I'm only in K's right now with this, with this. Terror. I mean, look, because she's such just a 13 year old girl who's like never changed or grown up. And, you know, she's like almost 40 now. She's still talking about like relationships going wrong. Um, her titles of her songs are pretty easy to use when you're having a political discussion because it's so like, look what you made me do. Generic. Trump. Look what you made right. me do, Trump. Oh, don't don't mess with Kamala. She's a mad woman. Here's one for all my people in Georgia, Marjorie. Um. Oh wow, what? that's throwing wow. it back. <laughs> <laughs>